What's up everybody? Dan Diaz here, and today we're gonna take our first look at the official trailer for last year, The Nightmare it just dropped! Let's do it. Oh, savage. As of 96, have a great summer. Savage. Oh, I got goosebumps from that. Sexy voice. Coming soon to Discord. Okay. That was fun. That was oodles of fun. And now I have. I uh, give me a second to process this. Okay. So let's get into this. There are actually a couple things I want to talk about. Just as long as I'm here. But first, let's just break down the initial thoughts about the trailer. I love the atmosphere. The second that the ra 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 song started up, it was like. It hit the setting, it hit the atmosphere, it had that great sense, that great feeling of like a classic 90s horror film to it. I love it. I love the direction of just the atmosphere and the feel of everything. Second, I mean, we already kind of knew this from the screenshots, but I love the depth of detail just in the graphics. I mean, just the fine, the fine little tuned details. I love it. It's beautiful. The animations are so fun. I just, I love the organic nature that this game represents. And then of course, lastly, those kill animations, man. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a just slash, slash, slash until I fall down kind of thing or what they're gonna do, but it looks like they have individual animations for the kills. That's gonna be wicked. That's gonna be amazing. Now I know it sounds like you can revive people. So I guess there are other kills where you won't have those animations or maybe if you do it only, downs them and doesn't kill them i'm not really sure i'm not positive about that but those animations i love it this is one of the things that i loved about dead by daylight was the moris and i always felt like they need more variety they need more of those it looks like this game really is focusing on a lot of those that variety of kill aspect and i am so excited for that also, as long as I'm here making this video, I did want to actually point out a couple things that caught my interest when the website dropped. I know the website's been up for a while, and I actually meant to make a video about this a couple weeks ago, but I actually got sick, and I was coughing like crazy, and my voice was gone, and it was like, nope, I can't make a video like this, so let's do it now. A lot of the stuff on the website just gives you a kind of basic rundown and bio of the playable survivors and stuff like that, but there's one line in the gameplay tab that really caught my eye and ties into my theory video that I made a while back. It says, Halloween night, 1996. A group of teenagers awake to find themselves trapped in a dark, twisted reflection of their sleepy hometown of Forest Hills. As they make their way across the East Side High School campus, they realize they are being hunted by a supernatural force taking the forms of fearsome killers. Relentlessly pursued, the teens must band together to fight back, survive, and escape the terrifying anomaly they have come to know as the Nightmare. So this is really interesting. First off, this actually ties in 
what uh, what the term the nightmare even refers to. That is the name of this place that they're in, this anomaly, this thing that looks like their high school. But second, it implies something even bigger is going on than we thought before. We thought these were just random killers in the survivor's hometown. It looks like these, these survivors, these teenagers, they're actually in whatever realm this nightmare is. And not only that, but the word usage is that it's a supernatural force taking the forms of fearsome killers. This throws, this this gets my mind going crazy with theories. My original thought was that these guys were maybe all part of like some kind of demonic cult or some kind of possession was going on. I don't think these guys are even human to begin with now. I'm starting to wonder if these are manifestations of this supernatural force that has recreated this high school, sucked these teenagers into the high school, and for some reason or others trying to get them to escape. Think Dead by Daylight, but imagine if instead of the entity stealing people to be killers in his little realm, if the entity became the killers in his own world and personally hunted down the survivors. That is a terrifying and fun horror design. That is, that's interesting, I like it. And the one last thing I would like to talk about before I end this video is there were a lot of reviews posted for this game after PAX West, but there's one in particular that I thought was really good, done by PC Gamer. If you haven't read their review, it's amazing. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below, so check it out. One of the reasons I really liked their review was that they actually broke down some of the mechanics of gameplay more descriptively than other reviews. And one of the things they talked about was not just the ability of the killer to despawn and respawn back into the game in predator mode, which we're already familiar with, but they made it sound like the killer will be able to despawn as one killer and then respawn back in as another, meaning you don't have to wait for the survivors to kill you when you want to switch up your strategy. Technically, you could play as all three killers and never die as one of the killers once. That is interesting. That really, really changes the way that you can approach the strategy of the game. It makes you adaptive, it makes you terrifying, it makes you unpredictable as hell, and allows you to mix things up in a way that is uniquely your own every single time. You don't have to always play by the mechanic of, okay, I'm stuck as this killer until next time I die or whatever. You can just mix it as you go. I was unaware of this detail before, and when I heard it, I got so excited. I am so excited to play as killer. I I don't like to do mains in video games. I don't like to play as, oh, I'm just gonna be this one role, or I'm just gonna be that role, but I might play a shit ton of killer. And I've also recently gotten new internet, so the live streaming is up. It is looking glorious. I've been doing a lot of tests, and the video quality is so nice. I can stream at 720p. So expect live streams of Last Year the Nightmare to be coming up. I'll do probably most of my streaming over on Mixer. I've just made an account with them. So if you haven't yet, I left a link in my uh, profile. So please go check it out and follow if you'd like to see some Last Year the Nightmare footage. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to have a blast. And that's pretty much all I had for this video, so thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share with a friend, and I will catch you guys later.